Hi, I'm Louis Canatano. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at MedX Health. Uh, we are in the uh, laser and um, skin cancer imaging space. The company was incorporated back in 1999. We've been in business for several years. Um, we started off with low-level laser technology and we've evolved into skin cancer imaging equipment and devices. Uh, in addition to software applications. Uh, currently we manufacture uh, several different devices in this space um, that required uh, the Proto 3000 expertise. Um, one of those devices is one of the uh, enclosures that you're looking at today. Um, this was a very specialized type of enclosure that required uh, 3D printing and as you could see um, this particular device is in full production mode today. Uh, the device after the finished product has been assembled, uh, currently lo looks like this. And we use it within the chiropractic, physiotherapy and various other types of modalities within this particular space. The other technology that we currently manufacture is our cyoscopy unit and the cyoscopy unit uh, consists of these various types of enclosures. This is what the finished product looks like. Uh, this device here uh, uses very specialized imaging components within this particular hardware and it marries itself with a personal computer. Um, our software application system takes what this produces and produces several different images for the dermatologist uh, the dermatologist looks at those images specifically and is, is able to uh, provide a close to a diagnosis before a biopsy is performed. Uh, we went to Proto 3000 because their area of expertise produced a, uh, in real time a application for producing a prototype for us which was extremely important. Uh, time and accuracy were the two biggest components that we required. Proto 3000 was able to uh, look at our existing infrastructure as far as the enclosure is concerned and with the ability uh, with CAD we were able to make the necessary modifications in order to have a, a, a producible uh, accurate piece of equipment that you see in front of us. Um, Proto 3000 was also able to make the necessary modification uh, within uh, less than a few days and we also, uh, the 3D printing technology allowed us to have a device that was available in the marketplace in, in record time.